Sergei and Yulia Skripal remain critically ill in hospital. Sadly, late last week, doctors indicated that their condition is unlikely to change in the near future and they may never recover fully. This shows the utterly barbaric nature of this act and the dangers that hundreds of innocent citizens in Salisbury could have faced. 国会上严厉谴责英国首相梅伊不舍俄罗斯前间谍和他的女儿遭受毒害，性命垂危。面对野蛮的毒杀，欧美各国协调后，包括美国、加拿大及欧盟等二十三国，集体接连宣布驱逐俄国外交官。澳洲在二十七日也跟上排俄行列。Today, Australia is expelling two Russian diplomats.、Uh, we're acting together with、uh, 23 other nations around the world. In response to the shocking、uh, chemical warfare attack in Salisbury in the United Kingdom on the 4th of March,、uh, this was the first act of chemical warfare in Europe since the Second World War. It was a calculated attempt to carry out an assassination. It was a disgraceful assault on the sovereignty of the United Kingdom and on the rule of law, and we utterly condemn it. 各国群起激愤，排二势在必行。梅伊更指出，俄罗斯隐瞒叙利亚政府在叙利亚境内使用化学武器。过去十年，俄罗斯也不断研究多种运送神经毒剂的方法，就是为了要暗杀敌人。冰岛外交部宣布暂停与俄罗斯高层对话。今年夏天在俄罗斯举办的世界杯足球赛决赛，冰岛也不会派官员参与，要用外交抵制俄国。只是俄罗斯从头到尾都否认暗杀。周一还透过外交部表示，英国对普京政府的下毒指控是毫无根据。欧美各国盲目加入排俄，也违反文明对话以及国际法规范。俄罗斯认为这全都是英。国和美国的计谋煽动各国排恶，俄国政府誓言不排除采取报复行动，一切就等普京点头下令。新闻实时报记者陈凯婷整理报道。